Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I don't really have to talk too much about the whip shot anymore because it's a sliding instant Legolas. And yes, it's a very fast shooting, very powerful bow setup. And it shoots really, really great. I mean, even from the hip, it's so easy to hit with this thing. <laughs> so you get it. The only thing is it's, it's, it's quite big and actually, yeah, you can take it apart and so on. It's a compound bow and it has a lot of advantages but it lacks the charm of a traditional bow. Elong Archery just sent me this one. It's like the new version of their crack wrap bow, the Nika, and this one is the black carbon one. And I actually like it quite a bit. I mean, it's a combination of fiberglass and uh, carbon fiber. It's a very, very basic bow, um, and I love how well it shoots. This is the 40 pound version. So 40 pounds quite powerful, they go up to 50 pounds. And, and I really like it because it has the simplicity of just a straightforward old-fashioned bow, but it's done with very modern material and therefore it's super lightweight and super easy to uh, pack away. <laughs> so much fun to shoot. And it's also super easy to disassemble because all you do is you step through here and you put your leg against this and you can very easily detach it. Okay, and if you want See how it's shaped when it's not under tension. Very typical like a Mongolian bow. And then you can simply put these halves apart and then that's what you're left with. Very, very easy to transport. You can put this in a backpack in no time and assemble it as quickly again. So if, if you want to assemble it, you simply put it back together like so. No screws, no nothing. And then put one side of the string in step through, <laughs> then put the other side over it again, okay, and you're all set. Now what if you want to kind of blend the two bows with each other, giving this one a quick reloading function without making it too clumsy and without attaching anything to it, just an external device. Now if you look at history, there is the Tong A, which I think is a Korean invention, and it's actually like a like a, a bamboo piece cut in half that you can use to put in a shorter arrow. And the intention was that you can shoot back broken arrows or you can even use crossbow bolts and shoot them back at an attacker if you can find them on the ground. Because of course with this bow you cannot really shoot short bolts. So this is a 15 inch bolt from an R9 Cobra or an RX Cobra. And if you want to shoot it, see it's really short so you could only use if it would have a knock, which it doesn't, but you know, you could only use a very, very little bit of the draw length of the bow here. So you have almost no power. With the Tong R, that would be different, but then again, it's kind of clumsy to reload. And uh, it's also, I don't think it, it is really pleasant shooting with the Tong R because it's kind of loose, it kind of loose and you have no control about it. So I decided to kind of, uh, you know, revoke one of my old homemade instant Legolas pieces from wood. This was actually done you know, for the uh, Kyudo project, therefore there's some Japanese script on it that I forgot what it means. <laughs> and uh, this one has been modified a little bit, therefore because I just cut into it here, and I have this little opening device here, which when I open it, you can see that I can just, you know, I can attach, I can put the string in here, in here between those, and then close this again, so that it's locked again. And this allows me to slip it onto the bow very easily, and the idea is that it would never be attached to the bow. You just draw it out and then you have this front holder and this little claw that actually holds on to the, uh, to the bow frame, to the riser of the bow. So that when you cock, when you have you know, pulled it out, it's actually just like an instant Legolas, but of course this is still a loose piece. So, and I have to say it works quite well. So as I said, you just slip on the bow. Now it's in. Okay. And now I can close this part again and put the trigger in active mode and as you see it's still loose but it doesn't matter because if I draw it out I can hold on to the front here and as you see it's locked in so it's really firm the bow is fully drawn and I can even control it just with the front handle so I don't have to attach this here so and, and, and now it's not necessary that there is anything attached to the riser and of course I can also decock it very easily, and now I can load it up with the arrows and go shoot. So I've now loaded in like four bolts or something. I think this, this one takes six or maybe five bolts, I don't know. 
I just only have four handy at the moment. <laughs> and now I can simply go ahead and shoot them, just as normal. And of course I could put on a sighting system, which currently I don't, but it doesn't matter because it's just instinctive shooting at this point. So draw out, hold it with my hand, take aim and fire away. And now I can do the same thing again, as often as I want to. See, it's super easy. And you see that of course the, boards are sh the, the bolts are short, but you see that I have the little notch here. When I slip it in, the string will slide underneath it and allows me to, oh, sorry, <laughs> allows me to repeat. And it automatically engages in the trigger here. So it's very, very, very easy and very effective, I think. So again, I draw out, aim, and shoot away. <laughs> okay, there's one more ball left in here. Okay, fire that for you too. Okay, and now if I want to slip it out again, of course I now have to get over the, because this has an entry, it, it, it stops it here when it's empty, because there's a little claw in here. So I just have to push on the lever to make this possible. And now I can very easily just slip it out again, like so. And I have my two pieces. And now I can, of course, take the bow apart, put everything in my backpack and be done with it. And as I said, the opening mechanism is simply this one claw here. And on the other side, I just have a little bit of a plate and make sure that it's always straight and not canted. Very, very simple and super effective. So is this worth investing more time? Maybe, maybe so, I don't know yet. The advantage is that a device like this, I mean, if you keep the front holder a little bit adjustable, could be used for any bow, any bow. You know, it's completely independent of the bow. As long as it's a bow and it has a string and some way of an arrow rest, even if it's just a fist, it'll work. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Would you want one of those? Of course, it could be made a lot more sleek and a lot more lightweight and maybe even a little bit shorter, but not so very much because you still want to enjoy the full draw length of the bow. In any case, <laughs> this thing has the advantage, of course, that it's all solid and this is more like a combination of a crossbow and a real bow. I like both, actually. How about you? <laughs> anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and woo! Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> One more for you. Okay, I know, I know. And now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs>